Hello boys and girls, it's lovely to see you today. Do you remember who I am? Some of you will know, but those of you new to Bardike's Farm Nursery might not have met me yet. My name's Mrs Wilkie. I'm Kim's mummy and Alexandra and Jessica's granny, or super gran as they call me. Well, today I'm in my bedroom because it's so cold outside today and I wanted to have a wee chat with you. I'm going to tell you a story, but I want to have a wee chat with you about something called literacy. What on earth is literacy? Well, grown-ups sometimes use the word literacy to mean when they're using words, when they're speaking or when they're reading words in a book or a newspaper or when they're putting letters together to make words. That's literacy. You can see letters and words all around you all the time. And as you get older, you'll begin to recognise the letters and the words you see around, that you see around you and um, I'm sure some of you already recognise some words. What about this? Does anybody know what this says? Yes, McDonald's. Who likes McDonald's? I like their chips, actually. And what about this word? <laughs> Asta! Well, not many people are going to Asda just now because of the COVID, but Asda's a great place to go shopping. Get all your food and you can get clothes and things. What about this? What about this one? That's quite hard, that one, because that's got lots of words in it. But look at the picture. You recognise anything there? That Those words say Bardike's Farm Nursery School. And that's where my house is, right next door to Bardike's Farm Nursery School. Right, when I was a wee girl, I loved reading books. And one of my favourite books was all about these guys. Wait till you see who I've got with me in my cosy bedroom today. Right, here we go. Can you see them? <gasps> Look who's with me today. Wow, there's Kanga and Roo, Pooh Bear, there's Owl up the top, Piglet, Pooh Bear's best friend, Tigger, oh and grumpy old Eeyore. <laughs> yeah. So, there was a boy in those stories. Can anybody remember the boy's name who was in the Winnie the Pooh stories? Yes, Christopher Robin, that's right. Christopher Robin was in the stories that were written by a man called A. A. Milne. And he wrote all the Winnie the Pooh stories for Christopher Robin. But he also wrote poems too, sometimes with Pooh Bear in them. But the one I'm going to read to you today is all about this guy. What is that? Oh, I hope you don't have them in your house. Well, actually, it actually wouldn't do you any harm. That is a beetle. A beetle. So he's going to be in the story and also in the story there's going to be a mention about these things. Hmm. Any idea what these are? That, oh, and there's that. This is a matchbox and a match, right? Matches are used for lighting birthday cakes, but lighting candles on birthday cakes, but only grown ups, only grown ups use matches because they're very, very dangerous. But they're going to be mentioned in the story. Hmm, I wonder how. So, the poem was written as if Christopher Robin was telling the story himself. So here we go. Now it's from this book, 
Now this was the actual book that I read when I was a wee girl. And if you see inside, oh, I even wrote my name. Ilsa Thompson was my name. And the book's very, very old. Some of the pages are even coming out. So it's called Now We Are Six, as you can see on the front. Now We Are Six. So here we go. It's called Forgiven. I found a little beetle, and beetle was his name. So I called him Alexander, and he answers just the same. I put him in a matchbox, and I kept him all the day. And Nanny let my beetle out. Yes, Nanny let my beetle out. She went and let my beetle out, and beetle ran away. She said she didn't mean it. And I never said she did. She said she wanted matches and she just took off the lid. She said that she was sorry, but it's difficult to catch an excited sort of beetle you've mistaken for a match. She said that she was sorry and I really shouldn't mind as there's lots and lots of beetles, which she's certain we could find if we look about the garden for the holes where beetles hide and we'd get another matchbox and write beetle, beetle on the lid. Well, we went to all the places where a beetle might be near and we made the kind of noises which a beetle likes to hear. Beetle noises? Oh, I wonder what those are. And I saw a kind of something and I gave a sort of shout, a beetle house and Alexander Beetle coming out. It was Alexander Beetle, I'm as certain as can be. And he had the sort of look as if he thought it might be me. And he had the sort of look as if he thought he ought to say, I'm really very, very sorry that I tried to run away. And Nanny's very sorry too, for you know what she did. So she's writing Alexander very blackly on the lid. So Nan and me are friends because it's difficult to catch. An excited Alexander you've mistaken for a match. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little poem. I um, wonder, anybody know why it might be called forgiven? The word forgiven, what does that mean? I think it's because Christopher Robin forgave Nanny for letting Alexander Beetle out. And she did say sorry after all. Well, that's me. Then we're going to put a link after this story so that you can go um, and listen to someone singing a song about Alexander Beetle and a wee cartoon of the story too. So bye just now. See you soon.